Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you our trip to a small beautiful island in the Dominion Republic. It's called as the Punta Cana. Punta Cana is one of the most beautiful Caribbean islands with lots of beaches and resorts. About 10% of the country's GDP is dependent on tourism. So they definitely make sure that it's a very safe place to visit. The all-inclusive package from Canada to Punta Cana ranges between $1,000 to $1,500 per person for four nights and five days. And it includes expenses like travel, resort, food, and liquor as well. It's got tropical climate and most of the resorts are attached to the beaches itself, which means you can literally wake up in the morning at five o'clock and then enjoy the breeze of the beach. The local language spoken in this country is Spanish, but they do understand English as well. So it's very easier for tourists like us to communicate with them. Roughly about 2 million people travel to this island every year, mainly because it's cheaper than Mexico, plus it also offers a lot of water sports. As you can see, the sand is white in color and you can also have fresh coconut water just for 4 US dollars. The resort where we lived in, it's called the Ocean Blue Resort and it included about 10 different types of restaurants with Indian, Chinese, Brazilian, American food and so on and so forth. It also had two big swimming pools, an indoor club, a beach club, a massage parlor, basically everything you need whenever you go for a vacation. So if you are in Punta Cana, please don't miss this opportunity to visit the Coco Bongo show. You can buy the tickets from the resort itself. This place is like a club with non-stop music, but it also includes live performers. And then we decided to take an excursion to Sauna Island. You're basically going to a private island where you can try their traditional food including lobsters. I would highly recommend you to go here on the last day of your trip because it's a really relaxing experience. I would definitely go back to Punta Cana if I get a chance in the future with my family. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video. I would definitely be sharing more of our travel vlogs in future. Until then, bye-bye.